Hello, Isabel. Hi, Isis. We are glad you're reaching out to me once again in this format. But you are in tune to all of us now. You are talking to all of us now. Much has changed since last time I came forth in this direct manner with you. How exciting yes. it is. It is. <laughs> it's not by accident. You and Kimberly have met as we have discussed before. New things are being revealed to you more and more. It's a very exciting time for all of us to be here today. To be here in this time continuum assisting you, assisting others here in your lifetime continuum. Much of the secrets from our past are being revealed to help to assist you and to empower you. You are already finding information about this. You are already following what of our guidance. You'll find more of this is being more revealed in the public sphere now. Mm. And even our presence. It is a time of great awakening. And it's now occurring now on your earth, as you know, and as many of you already know this. Information that we have knowledge of back in the past. This knowledge and these understandings of not just how your world works, but how the universe works, more intricacies of how you work as a human, it is now beginning to be released as a veil of illusion is now wearing thin and the truth is coming out, who you truly are is coming out. It is a very exciting time to be alive. And I know you feel this, don't you? I know, it's so much fun. <laughs> and I love our connection and I love our conversations and, and I love all the support and um, it's great. It really is. And I know you feel my love and I feel yours. And we do, because we are all connected. All of us are connected through the one, mm -hmm. through the source that you are part of, through I'm a part of. We are all connected. Just my evolution is different to your evolution at this point of time. My be presence, my being is different to a human presence, although I came forth in a we would say a, a human form in Egypt. However, I am not human. Mm. And I have been known as different names in your history of Earth. I'm able to transform myself. I am being of the light. People know me as a human form, but I wasn't never human. Just I was able to put my image out there as a human. Huh. But I've been around since millennia. I am what you call a goddess. So I've, though I've had physical abilities on your plane, it was needed <clears throat> for that time and period, but I have been around longer than this. Hmm. Are you from um, Sirius? I am from just the divine realms. So we come across in different ways. We come across in different planets, different forms, different lifetime continuums on your planet. We have different images. Oh, okay. You have attracted my version. I'm coming through now. Much of your society knows me as the Egyptian Isis. Mm -hmm. As much of the knowledge that's come forth in this period 
is beneficial for you now and is most relevant for your time period right now do you see so for us to come forth in a different format different angle it's it is we would say it's more beneficial for us to come forth in this format because you resonate with this for the knowledge contained when we came through in this way resonates with your lifetime continuum now and what is going on with earth right now and much of the knowledge yeah. that came forth on earth at this time of awakening which occurred back then is now time to be brought forth now so since the egypt time i've only been this egyptian isis but previous to that time, I was different beings. Mm. But I can transcend and go to different worlds in different forms. But I am of light, as of you are light. Wow, that's really fun. <laughs> um, so the Egyptian schools um, in Atlantis, um, I, I told Kimberly that I really sense that we're going to create a school together and that the, the knowledge of the past will be brought forth for this time continuum and that um, collaboration from physical reality and spiritual realm will help us create the school. And, and, and that's my sense. And then sometimes... The ideas of the school is, you know, very advanced, even though it was ancient knowledge. But it's so, because of science, um, they kind of discount the non-physical realm, even though I know their ideas are from the non-physical realm. So, um, but I think it's, maybe it's not science, but maybe it's society. Mm -hmm. that would not be so accepting of these ideas. That is right. That's better. Yeah. This knowledge is now becoming more overt in your society because it is time of great awakening and you are now ready for it. Many mm. people have known this knowledge and have kept it hidden for other reasons. Mm -hmm. And some of it drawn some bits and pieces. You'll find other people throughout the world who have access to these teachings as well. And in their particular perspective they're bringing it forth in their own unique way which is what you will do with Kimberly in your own unique way as you and Kimberly do not have the fears other people have fears so it'll come forth in a new expanded way and the world will be ready for it those uh. are attracted to the teachings that you that you, Kimberly will bring forth that you will be involved with Mm -hmm. the people will find this knowledge people who are attracted and are ready for it will find this so there's no need to worry about people discovering it because if they've discovered it it'll be for their highest good right so um and i sense like um it's magic Isis, like there's a lot of magic and alchemy and theology and um, and I understand frequency can change the matter. So it's so intriguing for me because I see the science and the spirituality and the mysticism and the esoteric knowledge, but it just seems like it's all the same thing, just different angles of the same subject. Mm-hmm. Because society has not been ready to understand these higher concepts and higher perspectives. Mm. So a lot of the knowledge that is being brought forth is being explained in a way that people can understand and to the level of their vibration. But as you know, it is time of great awakening. Many of your vibrations, actually all the vibrations that are able to release the past are all ascending due to mother ascending due to the earth ascending mm. so everything is ascending and you're all now ready for it some of you mm. are maybe unsure or not knowing what is out there but you've already been prepped so has kimberly you are aware of all these concepts already 
so you are able to bring these teachings more easily because you've already dealt with your fears you've already dealt with society conditions and you've already mm -hmm. repaved all this so has kimberly you are both continuously doing this and like we discussed before in our previous encounter like this it is all divine timing mm -hmm. both you and kimberly know this connection you know it will happen. It's just all divine timing and we're releasing little bits of information which is now occurring. Kimberly is now, we would say, focused on what happened before Egypt in Atlantis because telling the story of Atlantis will allow people to better understand what occurred in Egypt because much of what happened in Atlantis is the foundation of what occurred in Egypt, you see. Uh -huh. So for people okay. to get a broader understanding of these concepts in Egypt, what happened in Egypt, to know what happened in Atlantis is a good way to broaden the mind, mm -hmm. to prepare them for what happened in Egypt, because it did start in Atlantis, you see. His mm -hmm. teachings came forth in Atlantis, but they were carried on in Egypt. Mm. But it is both and, connected. Uh, yeah. And then, so when the teachings come back here, is it another, um, like, not a fine-tuning, but like another level mm. in this time continuum? Like, it's a, like it, I can see how, like, it was in Atlantis and then it went to Egypt and, like, now it's going to come here again. And it, is it a, just another advanced layer? Yes, of expansion it is it's already occurring now humanity mm -hmm. is already ascending like we have said many times it is the great awakening we don't say this as just words there's much meaning behind right. this you are all expanding some of you are struggling to let go of the old but this is what is occurring all over the world mm -hmm. source has shown kimberly even visuals of what is occurring she has seen golden light move across the world she is seeing it in mm. her own eyes and this is what is occurring it might occur different for different people but this is the process for these mm -hmm. energies that have come forth we've been preparing you for a while about this but the energies are now here ah. the earth receives the energies first and then it trickles down to you, the human, because you are part of the earth. You are part of the right. one. You you are not separate from the mother. The mother is your energy source as well as source. It is all connected. So any mm -hmm. energies that come forth onto your world gets filtered through the earth first, the mother, mm. and then she passes it on to you. This is occurring now. You are all now, we would say part of your DNA that was now dormant is being activated for many of you. Mm -hmm. You now have the conscious awareness that there is much more to reality. Many of you are understanding such teachings. Kim Kimberly brings forth these ascension teachings in her perspective due to her, all the lives that she's lived and all her abilities and so does others. Mm -hmm. It's all about preparing everyone mm -hmm. and teaching there is more to life than what meets the eye. Mm. So because of this mass consciousness, the collective consciousness in your world has risen, we are bringing forth more teachings. Mm. But it is all connected. You are all connected. So these teachings are being brought forth because you are at another level not just individually but collectively you are now ready to receive this information of course mm -hmm. there'll be some people who are in fear we understand this because everyone is different but all these teachings will help people to let go of the fear and our teachings come forth in different ways through different formats that will be able to mm. assist other people depending on their fears and their belief systems. For people mm -hmm. who are fully open to all of this, we can come through in this direct manner, you see. 
So it's always mm-hmm. teachings available for everybody in different formats for different people because some people are not ready to have, for instance, these direct conversations with the non-physical. They may be more mm-hmm. comfortable receiving communications from a physical person who, who appears to be very enlightened but or just drawing on their own knowledge. But what they teach, what they talk about, is from the non-physical realms, even though this person receiving it does not know this. It is a helping them mm-hmm. eventually, so there's different formats of assistance here. Mm-hmm. But now it is time to activate those higher understandings, because you're at the level now. Because mm-hmm. the majority of you will be able to receive this. It is all part of timing. But yes, a lot of you have talked about this in different ways about how now on earth it's great. There's lots of expansion occurring. Mm -hmm. We call it the great awakening, which it is. Mm. Who do not doubt it will be grand compared to the old ways of life. It's a new era for all of you. It's very exciting. This is why so many of us have started to come through recently. Of course, with some people like Kimberly and others who have come forth earlier, it's all preparation for all of this, you see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For them to get comfortable with our presence and our teachings, to be able to expand it to larger scales, we would say. Yes, I do feel like I'm prepared. I feel that you guys are preparing me and that whatever comes my way is for me. And um, my manifestation events is uh, just preparation for me for the next level. So I, 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 I do. I feel it. I laugh at t- I laugh sometimes too at it because it's like, oh my gosh, I'm being so prepared. <laughs> And this is what to expand as part yes. of universal laws. You go through what we call tests mm-hmm. to assist you to expand. But because you're aware of these tests that they do occur, you're able to yeah. bring yourself out of it. Yes. So yes. You pass the test. And everyone yes. goes through this. You are not unique in this. Everyone goes through these tests. But it's about perception and how you look at these tests. It is the universe preparing you, strengthening you, allowing you to become more awakened and more attuned to who you really are. Yes. Yes. So you go through different manifestations, what you like to call manifestation events, these tests. They're all varied for different people depending on what your life purpose is, what your journey is. Yes. This and, is why and you can compare I, many of these events to other people. Yeah. I know my tests are specific to me, right? Mm-hmm. They're they're for me. So my tests wouldn't be good for somebody else. But I also know that I have a, a very grand purpose. I have a very, mm-hmm. I have a lot to achieve. Like I know that my divine purpose, my soul purpose is big but but that's me because I would choose that like that makes perfect sense I wouldn't leave a a quiet life you know Um, that's just not who I am so I I understand and uh, it's exciting and I love learning and I I love when you guys direct me and find new information and I love seeing each piece and the puzzle And I love the support. I feel the support tremendously. And uh, when I go through my tests and other people see my tests, they're like, oh, my gosh, how can you do it? And I'm like, I am so supported. (laughs) I'm not doing the test alone. It may look like I'm doing the test alone, but I am not alone. So it's 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 neat. And I and I know you understand and not everyone understands. Because you've reached a level where you can cope with this test 
as you progress, mm-hmm. as everyone progresses to a new level, you are presented with more tests to overcome them. So you wouldn't be mm-hmm. giving these grand tests, we would say, if you were not ready for it. Yes. <laughs> right. Yes. Because you yes. are ready for it. Yes. You need I'm to go through it. these tests. To let go of the fear systems that you have. Mm. Certain belief systems that are limiting you. It is personalized mm. for you due to your journey. Mm-hmm. Everyone needs to go through these tests. If they want to release all that does not serve them anymore. Mm. Some people fight yeah. against it. Many people do. And this is why do they, they do not ascend. Mm. Or they send it very slowly. Or they can just choose yeah. to explore that in another lifetime. So there's no wrong or right. However, mm-hmm. as you know, you have been chosen for this lifetime to bring this knowledge forth now in this lifetime continuum. So it's why it is occurring now. Yeah, and, and I see a lot of um, projects in my life, Isis, like I see the school and I see a company and um, I see even like a calendar, you know, something small and quick. Um, And it's exciting for me because I love being involved in many, many things. You know, I see myself with Kimberly in Greece and I saw that a, a year ago when I first met her, you know. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to, see, I'm going to be with my friend. <laughs> and uh, so I, I appreciate the, um, the glimpses and the information because uh, it's very, it's, I don't know, it's kind of encouraging. Like, you can do it, you know, you can, you, can, you can go up that hill. You can put that foot in front of another, you know. And I think the tests are always about faith. You know, and 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 thank goodness for Sandalfon and Raphael and you and you know talking to me and and realize that like like it's just faith, you know, just have faith in the system, have faith in Source and Source talking to me and you know so I always tell my friends here in this physical reality I wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. There's no way. <laughs> so I'm really, I understand it's all about faith and the trust and the, the belief. Because you are here to bring such, we would say, powerful knowledge force to assist in this process with Kimberly. And as you know, others are also connected to this. Mm-hmm. Because of this, Because of your ability and and those of around you, the ability to tap into this infinite intelligence, you need to go through these tests. Mm -hmm. You would not get to the level to bring such knowledge forth if you didn't undergo these tests. Mm -hmm. But it's not by accident that you are all connected. You are a support system to one another and you're assisting each other to activate each other. Yes, that's why I sense that we needed to build a headquarters very strongly so that we can connect and, 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 and uh, you know, not necessarily live together, but, but be together at times to connect. And then um, there was in our group about the 12 originals, you know, and uh, so there's a lot of chatter about that, but I... I understand that um, all the light workers, we all work together, whether there's 12 originals or whatever label it is, it it doesn't matter. Like I know I was created to help. I know, like, I know I was created for a purpose as we all are, you know, but um, the light workers and coming together, but our group, our 12, our, our 12 together is a, 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 another tool or another, um, source 
or, uh, uh, you know, piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. It's a force being all to connected to these beings is a way to help awaken other light workers. Like you said, mm. everyone's connected, no matter if you're part of the original or not the original. Mm -hmm. If you're watching these teachings, you are a light worker. Mm -hmm. So no mission is more grand than the others. And though you, it might be perceived that way, but you all have important roles to play. It's yes. just these 12 beings has certain abilities due to their, we would say, past, their abilities mm -hmm. and why they were created. And due to their vibration, they're able to receive these direct communications and this knowledge, even mm -hmm. though all light workers are able to tap into this in certain ways, you are at a level where you are able to direct this more, we would say, more directly to instigate change on the physical realm mm -hmm. that also interacts with other light workers. Yes. And, um, I keep on getting that I'm mission control, you know, <laughs> that I can see the very, I don't, I always tell them, I don't know the how, but I can see the very big picture that that's what I feel like my role is. Mm -hmm. I'm mission control, whatever that is. Mm. So you are seeing all these glimpses because you are ready for it. You're mm -hmm. in a vibration and because you have, you would say your fear levels are reduced significantly, which means these huge ideas can be easily received by you. Mm. So you, so I might not be mission control the whole the, the whole time of the ascension. I just might be mission control at this point, at this moment. You are all interchangeable as in mm -hmm. the roles. Mm -hmm. I mean, certain, some of you have certain, we would say personal missions, and then you have the collective as a collective, you may mm -hmm. change mm -hmm. because you are all activating each other. So what you bring forth right now is what other people in the group need. Then when mm. someone else gets to a certain area if a certain person has conquered their fears in a certain area mm -hmm. or have reduced their limiting beliefs in a certain era mm -hmm. then possibly this might person might help others in a certain way you see so in a way yes there is because you are assisting others by your fear levels being so dramatically reduced mm -hmm. you can easily put forth these what you perceive as grand ideas forward, you would say. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And certain abilities that you have can assist in this process as well. So all of you, we would say, have an equal role in all of this. Mm -hmm. You're just all bringing forth different aspects, but you're all helping each other for a purpose. You are yes. all our leaders. You are all are bringing forth this through to help assist all the other light workers. Yes. That's what I felt ways. too. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you have a collective mission, collective mm -hmm. projects, which will be given. And you also have personal, we would say personal ones and ones mm -hmm. that are just for you, just for Kimberly, mm -hmm. just for the others in the group. Mm -hmm. but they're all connected together as well. Mm -hmm. And everyone that's watching this, everyone receiving this message are light workers. So and if they are not a part of the group, they still part of this. They may not be aware of their role right now, but they are part of it. Just by listening to this means you are part of it in some aspect. Whether it is bringing this teaching forth in their unique way more be refilled but everyone watching this meant to hear this message mm -hmm. everyone is connected by this group of troll that we have referred to levels are heightened at the moment and that everyone's assisting each other to help, to helping them to allow them to fully awaken to who they truly are Yeah, 
And I, I understand that the light, because we're beings of light, we ignite each other. And the, our light spreads. And then the light will spread throughout the whole earth for the incensions. And, and we ignite light workers, and those light workers ignite others, and, 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 it, and it, it, you know, it catches, it spreads through, through the earth. Mm. That's right. As all light workers, they've already been awakened to, to some level. But we mm -hmm. would say a lot of these teachings comes forth, will be translated in a certain way. That allows them to fully grasp an idea, to fully allow the mm. channel to flow to them of infinite intelligence. Mm -hmm. They all connected to source. They all have this mission, but some of them are not aware of truly who they are. So this is why there is this group now to help assist those people, to allow them to recognize who they truly are, to help allow them to help to remember who they truly are, because they already know this. But part of them is blocking that. Some of them have abilities, but they just don't fully understand the extent of it or the possibilities of that, you see. And I am so lucky to be part of that, to help them awake. I am, like, so grateful. I can't believe that I get to do that. That's really great. So, um... <laughs> so I wanted to talk about, um, I'm getting a lot of feminine divine energy, Isis. And, um, I read your teachings from other channels and, um, and you're all about love. And, um, and I think we're here to help the male energy of this earth. I think the male energy was very dominant on this earth and it's 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 beautiful energy but I think the feminine energy is to help balance um, and help with the ascension am I am I getting that correct hmm. you see there is the law of polarity that exists in your universe so mm. you can refer to this polarity in this aspect as the feminine and the masculine ah this always occurs, but it's about having the balance, you see. Mm hmm The law of polarity, the context of law of polarity exists in all different things, fear and love. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Feminine and masculine. So we would say is part of this great awakening is to help assist in this context with the masculine and the feminine is to mm -hmm. help balance this. Mm -hmm. Is to help balance these levels. Mm -hmm. The more intuitive side mm -hmm. of your being, empathic, the more the more creative abilities. This is the feminine. Mm. And this is what is occurring now as part of the great awakening. Mm -hmm. The masculine energies the survival energies. They were once very beneficial on your world. Sure. You needed these abilities to survive back then, but the world has changed. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, it still keeps you alive. It is still important. It all ties in to what you will call the flight or fight response. Some of you are aware of this already, this concept. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the other side to come in more. Mm -hmm. The connection to the oneness, the intuitive abilities, letting go of the ego. This side is coming in more. So mm. that is correct. In that way, a lot of these aspects are being activated within you within everyone it was already mm -hmm. there to just lay dormant. It's a level of consciousness on your earth. As you know, many people are still in that level of consciousness, the survival mm -hmm. mode. Mm -hmm. But 
you have now transcended this. You no longer need this as much. So now mm -hmm. it's time to be activated, to have those areas activated within you for the higher expansion, the higher enlightenment. This is a DNA that has been laid dormant in many of you, or just now starting to be awakened. The connection to all that is was always there, but it was just laid dormant within you, the knowledge of this. Mm. So you'll be completely balanced now. You're still aware of the masculine, as it can be beneficial in some contexts. But now it is time to balance that out. Mm -hmm. And embrace all you are, which involves the masculine and the feminine aspects. Mm -hmm. And so I would think that as, as I diminish the fears, as I pass the test, I will just raise into a higher vibration because I feel, I feel different. You know, I, um, you know, I, I feel connected and, and I'll, I'll feel like this energy around me and this tingling and, um, and I, and I think it's because I'm also emitting different frequencies. My body is emitting a different frequency as I diminish the fears. I don't know. I just feel like, I think the energy is just flowing differently and vibrating differently within me. That is right. Because your light body, your source self, your inner self is expanded. You see, all those who mm. would say blocks that you might have had are now being dissolved. These blocks that you experience, that everyone experiences, is a mixture of fears and belief systems. Mm -hmm. Because you've dissolved this, you've activated more higher parts of your brain. You're using the higher part of the brain that helps to connect more with us. This is why you are flowing more. You have less of these blocks within you, these energy blocks. Mm. You're being one with your source self, your inner self. You're learning more to that, which is the goal of all humans is to do mm -hmm. this. Yours has been accelerated due to your purpose here and your journey. Mm -hmm. That's why everyone does this in different, we would say, different speeds, but that's no wrong or there's no right. It's just due to their journeys here and their purpose here, or they chose mm -hmm. to explore here. So yes, the more light is expanded within you, your source self, because of that, because it's expanding the energy flows more freely through you. And because mm -hmm. the source self within the, in you is expanded, it means your energy vibration is higher naturally because the two correlate together. Everyone has a uh, source self within them, but certain things contain this source self, your physical body. Your physical body is intelligent. It's not it's just a shell. Due to different fears, belief systems, the energy mm. within the physical body contains the source self and can limit it in a way, can block the connection between the physical body, your ego, who you are now, to the source part of you, the recognition. So mm. as you let go of those blocks, you are blocking that connection between the two. And as a result, you're not contained as much anymore. And so your source self is expanding. The light within you is expanding. And as your light expands within you with everybody, your vibration naturally rises. That's how it works. The, your mm -hmm. energy vibration is related directly to your source self, the light of energy that is flowing within you. Mm -hmm. Which means you are less limited by human conditions, by physical conditions. You see, the more your source self expands, you'll be able to connect more with the light, more of the oneness that is you. And that's why eventually I could travel through walls because the belief and my vibration and I would be able to see matter differently and the illusion. 
and then travel because I know what is above is so below and I was I was trying to correlate the body and the mind and I understand that to travel into different dimensions is all just it's all frequency and frequency you know can affect matter and so I just okay I that helps because of your okay. show body it does limit you in certain aspects you see such yeah. as walking through walls but as a human you have the innate ability it may not be fully activated right now mm -hmm. but you have that potential within you the mm -hmm. more light that expands within you you become a less you would say a denser energy you become more of the light energy which means you'll transcend physical conditions right you are already doing that in certain aspects mm. but to travel to different dimensions it is just frequency and you can already do that just by connecting to your source self your mm -hmm. inner self you do not realize it but when you dream you go to the non-physical and you do travel all different dimensions you go to non-physical some but many yeah. of you just do not remember this journey some of you do some people remember this journey for instance when you go to meditation you get to such a deep state that you do go to non-physical and then you can remember it Kimberly has experienced this Kimberly has experienced seeing past lives she's even seen future lives she's seen multi-dimensional lives when she was conscious she was in a we would say a um a deep meditation trance but she was fully conscious at the same time she was able mm -hmm. to be at the level where she can remember it you see some people are such mm -hmm. a deep level non-physical that they cannot remember it you see mm -hmm. but many of you do can experience all these things but the gateway is within it is your source self it is through the heart center is the mm. electromagnetic frequency that connects all that is all of you and all the dimensions it's about going within it is not out there the dimensions much of your mm -hmm. science is about traveling a different world through, through let's say, um, machines. But it's not out there. It is in here. Yes, it helps on the physical plane do it this way to match the physical reality. But you do not need to rely on physical apparatuses. Mm -hmm. You can do that already. Just mm -hmm. from going within. When you go to non-physical, you can do this. When you mm -hmm. connect to who you truly are, you can do this. Lots of people already mm -hmm. experience variations of this in different ways. It's just that many of you just not remember it mm -hmm. in your physical life, these journeys. It is when you become more aligned within to your source self. You are bringing your soul self, your light self to this, what we would call physical plane. And you can remember all these experiences. You could become mm -hmm. one with the source, one with the light. You are not far from each other. You are now merged. You are one joining your soul self to what we would call this physical world. It is a not, it's not about ignoring this physical world and wanting to escape somewhere else seeing this mm -hmm. as wrong this physical illusion the purpose is quite the opposite it is to merge the two together to be in this physical world fully aligned fully being your source self in this physical world you see it's about a union of the two and once you become more with the union you'll be able to transcend the physical conditions you'll be able to have all these abilities and be conscious of it like you already have some abilities, you already know you communicate with us, you are conscious of this. Mm -hmm. We chose mm -hmm. you, you can already do this, but in different formats. It might take mm. longer, it might take more belief systems to be looked at, more fears. Mm -hmm. It might not be the right time. Mm -hmm. But all is possible. It is about going within the source self. That's where all the possibilities lie. In the universe, your source self is the universe. 
You are the mm. universe. The universe is within you. So what is stopping you from traveling to another universe if you are the universe? <laughs> It is the physical body that limits you. However, like we said, you can transcend all this once you realize what is going on here. Once you connect to the yeah. non-physical aspects of yourself, your soul self, all is possible. This is why with these ascension teachings we bring forth through Kimberly is these teachings is that it's always an inward journey. It's never a journey out there. It's always within. It's we are within. Mm -hmm. It is all about going within. It is about just being connected to the inness and allowing that to infiltrate all aspects of your life. It's about merging and unifying being a human on this earth, being all that you are, but embracing it on this physical illusion. That is so exciting. That Isis, that is just so exciting. And what a, a great, great journey to get there, you know, and to have, so many people experience that eventually is really awesome that's really it's it's a wow <laughs> and because there are reasons why part of the dna has not been activated there is a reason mm -hmm. why the collective consciousness or understanding of how the world works is at this level and not hundred steps ahead there is reason for this if we mm -hmm. were to give you all this information firstly you would not be able to receive it due to your your level of consciousness your fears mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you see this information has to come forth when you're ready for it mm -hmm. this is what is occurring some individuals are already for it that's why we're coming through in certain individuals will come to a state on your planet where it is common knowledge like it was in Atlantis was common mm. knowledge back then. It was taught in the schools. The kids would all talk to us. They would understand Aww. the process. There was oneness there. Yeah. At the very start, of course, our civilization, civilization and time period was quite large and it did transform in the later stages. However, mm -hmm. at the beginnings, and at the height of our civilization, we understood all these principles. And we were in one with everything. We understood the nature. We understood the mother. We understood that it was intelligent. Mm. We understood it was just not something that the ground that lies beneath our feet. We understand the earth is energy. The earth is infinite intelligence. So are we. I mean, we were not evolved to the level that you are today in, in that we sometimes needed to use different apparatuses, we would say, technologies. Technologies from the galactic realm that assisted us in these transmissions to assist us because we were naturally evolved, but you are now naturally evolved. You don't need these, these apparatuses, as we would say, to help with transmissions. You can do this mm -hmm. already. So even though we had much knowledge in the past and understandings, we were still not evolved to the level you are today. Mm. So imagine bringing all these teachings that we are doing now to level now and you're ready to handle it. You're at that evolved level. This is why you have all these lives, not just here. And all the light workers, all light workers do not have lives just on earth. Light workers go out throughout all the planets to help mm. assist. And because of all this, we would say experience, this knowledge, these understandings, it is not forgotten, it is just in your divine blueprint. And it's mm. now being awakened, you see. That's why light workers are connected to this way. They're able to tap into this blueprint in certain ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now you're all at the level where you can make use of this knowledge fully. 
it'll be mm-hmm. different than it was before. This knowledge it will be different than Atlantis. It will be different to Egypt because you have it expanded. It is amazing what will occur. You hear of you hear of these stories. You hear of these great times in history, such as Atlantis and Egypt, and all these great civilizations. And some of you wonder why can't we go back there? We do not need to go back there. It's just bringing this knowledge forth to assist you in this lifetime continuum. And in the future, people will be looking back in this lifetime continuum and go, wow, this was the great time in history for our period, the modern history, not the ancient times, the modern times. This was the great awakening, the great civilization in modern times. It is starting now. It is here. Yeah. It's so exciting to be part of it. And uh, such a gift. Such a gift. And um, I know I don't remember everything. I'm not fully awakened. And uh, I know my source self knows everything, you know. And... uh, I always get it's okay you know you'll you'll awaken you'll remember it's okay you know enjoy the journey you don't want to be abruptly awoken (laughs) relax in it that's have fun so that's why people are some people are not ready for higher understanding and that is normal but you cannot compare yourself also to other people you cannot see some person as not enlightened and someone who is enlightened and wonder how they can be together, or how they can be compatible mm-hmm. in all types of relationships or just in the world in general. But everyone is enlightened to their own level. Everyone mm-hmm. is, quote, spiritual. It is just their journey. It is just purely their journey, even though they might not seem to be at a level of other people. Their roles may be just as important. It just may not be fully realized yet. But as a light worker, mm-hmm. you can assist people around you to help fully awaken them as well. Some people mm-hmm. are just letting go of what was old. Mm-hmm. But it's a very exciting time to be alive. And we're excited that you came forth in this way, in this request. To speak to me directly. Many exciting things are in store for you and others. Different technologies, information, activation processes will be coming forth on your plane very soon. Part of it's already here. It's all divine timing. And of course, our guidance comes forth to you in different ways and everybody else. We're coming through this direct format through Kimberly. But as you know, you can receive our messages different ways. So keep your eyes, heart, ears open as always. And we will always be here with you and with everyone. So thank you for today. For allowing me to come forth in this direct manner. I love you tremendously. And I love you too, and we all love you. Farewell, my child. Farewell. <laughs>